Captions will help you get new subscribers and viewers. So just trust us on this and give it a go. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to answer your actual personal questions about closed captioning on YouTube. And I do have two dedicated closed captioning how-to playlists which I will link in cards down below. So if you have another question that isn't in this video, definitely take a look at those because I'm sure that they will answer any question that you might have. What would be an average price for captions on videos? AKA I'm assuming they're a bit pricey because not everyone captions. Some companies will charge you a lot and some companies will charge you as low as a dollar a minute. That company in particular is Rev. They charge a dollar a minute for English captions and then if you want subtitles, then it's about $3 a minute, I believe. Rev is right now the most affordable option for anyone who wants to pay for captions but doesn't or isn't able to pay. Uh, let's see, some companies like 3Play Media charge $3 a minute for English captions and other companies charge more. Captioning is very time consuming, at least for some people, and it is worth a lot more than what some companies charge, but those are your options. And if you are interested in using Rev, I do have an affiliate code for you all that will get you $10 off your very first order of Rev, so I will link that down below in the description box and the pinned comment. Can anyone make captions for videos, and if so, how? Yes, anybody can make captions. I imagine if maybe you're blind, it might be a little more difficult. So people like James, he pays a company to do it for him. But yeah, anybody, if you are capable of either doing voice to text or typing, you are more than able to put captions on a video. And the whole how to do that, uh, again, I have a whole playlist, two of them on how to do that. My most simple one is three ways to caption your videos, which I have a link up here. In general, how can I help people put captions in their videos, bring awareness to it? If you want to actually help actually captioning, YouTube does have a community contribution type of thing where if the YouTuber has it enabled, you can go into the settings, click add subtitles, and then you are able to add in English captions or Spanish subtitles, you know, various other languages. That's how I get a lot of different languages on my videos. How to bring awareness to it, leave comments, leave tweets, Facebook comments, you know, messages, anything that you can contact them with or by, leave them a message. Right now, my main thing is I'm writing letters to everybody who is also going to playlist because I'm going and I'm sending it off to their PO boxes and, you know, telling them, them about the importance of captions and then I'm offering to, you know, maybe meet up with them at the actual event and talk to them more in person if they want to. In captions, does it add a lot to the viewer to put in things like laugh, cough, inhale, or is that just annoying extra information? Definitely put laughs, coughs, chuckles, sniffles, you know, things like that. It is sound, it is audio, and that is important information to add because it kind of adds to the personality of the person. You know, just put it in parentheses or brackets, laughs, that's it. So for example, if you turn on the captions, I'm gonna laugh real quick. <laughs> And then my captioning company would have had um, that in there. Why do some people not caption their videos? Do you think they're just lazy? Is it expensive? Time consuming? Etc. All of the above and it definitely depends on the person. Now there are some people who cannot do them themselves because maybe they are chronically pained, fatigued like I am. It's very difficult for them to do it themselves. Of course if that is the case I offer other options you know community contribution and if they have the funds they can pay for it. Uh, some people simply really just don't care which is unfortunate. I know a YouTuber personally, I won't name names, who I brought up the captions thing quite often and they were into it but they said that they would only ever do it if somebody would do everything for them which then I recommended you know all these captioning companies and and despite all that they still didn't want to do it because they just weren't convinced that they wouldn't have to actually do any work themselves. The only thing that they would have to do is pay for it and maybe look over the file just in case but 
Time consuming is another thing. I have other YouTube friends who say flat out to me that it's tedious, of course, but then they try to look up other options like um, outsourcing their captions, going to Rev or iMedia or volunteers, you know, there's for what might be a problem to them, there usually is a solution. Unfortunately, that's just how it is sometimes. I try my best to fight it, but you can't force someone to want to caption their videos. Can you talk about the difference between subtitles and captions? Okay, so this is something that's going to depend on whether or not you live in the United States. In the United States, captions and subtitles are two completely different things. Although, if you were to get a DVD, yeah, I know those ancient disc things. <laughs> But if you were to get a DVD, it would say subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, even in the United States. But generally here, captions mean that the text matches up to a language that is being spoken. So for example, if you turn on the captions, the English captions, they are captions because I am speaking in English, but the words are in English. But if I'm speaking English, like... Well, I am, but if you were to turn on Spanish words, it would be subtitles because subtitles is words in a different language than what is being spoken. However, if you live in the UK or if you watch a European YouTuber or whoever, you might notice like someone like Jessica Kelgren Fozard, she says subtitles regardless. I think she has called them captions, but I think mainly because just, no, I don't know why. But I know in the UK, you call them subtitles regardless. I guess it's just um, a language thing. And I will admit, I used to be that brat that was like, there was a difference between the two when talking to somebody from England, but then they told me no. And I was like, okay, I apologize, I'm wrong. <laughs> so, so I learned something new. I thought they were different in all countries, captions and subtitles, but no, for some countries, it's just the same thing. What is the best way to format captions? So I have a video in one of the playlists or both of the playlists that will better describe that because it's a long thing to talk about. But just make sure the grammar is correct, things are capitalized, commas are where they need to be or don't put them where they don't need to be. Make them short, one to two lines, but even make the lines themselves short. So like if you were to look at the captions here, they would be maybe like this wide. I've seen some videos that have volunteers caption and I've seen them be like this wide, it will cover like a good half of this. And don't do that, please don't do that. That's absolutely terrible. That's just what, it's a whole essay and it's way too much to read and just, no. I mean, then you wouldn't even be able to see the video itself because all the captions are covering it, right? Should you include filler words like, um, uh, like, well. Some people prefer not to. I think Jessica says that for herself, she doesn't really care to have those in when she's watching something. Personally, I think that you should put them in. If you don't want to, then that's not the biggest thing in the world. But I notice when I go to get my videos captioned, sometimes those words are left out and I'm like, I want them in. Because it, for me, it shows personality. What are some things you should avoid doing? Don't troll in the captions. Don't add jokes. Don't add trolling commentary. Dan and Phil have been big victims of this. Jack sucked a guy. James Charles. James Charles recently came out on Twitter saying that he didn't like that that was happening on his own captions. And we're supposed to be discussing that at some point. Also, as someone who does reaction and gaming videos, should I caption just my words, the words in the video game? Is it worth alternating or would it get confusing? If you already have the captions on the game, I probably wouldn't rewrite them because they're already on. So it would just overlap. So I would probably just stick to writing your reactions. I think that it's, if it's possible that the captions you write on top would get in the way. The good thing about YouTube is that you can move the captions so if you wanted, if you didn't want them here anymore, you can drag it over to like over here so then you could see it. I don't think a whole lot of people know about that. I didn't really know about that until recently, but. So I've noticed on specifically two big gamer channels that some videos are captioned and some aren't. On the ones that are, you can tell they're done by viewers. How do you think they did that? The community contribution was enabled and then they just let the files go through. I could have sworn that you have to approve every single file that comes through, but I noticed that people have been telling me that when files go through, they don't even know that they're on there. So they just kind of slip through the cracks, which I find to be incredibly annoying, but that's unfortunate. But yeah, that's how it's done. It's just the community contribution being enabled. 
Also under captions, they'll put things in parentheses and add commentary, just sly little remarks or something. What are your opinions on that? Annoying, don't do it, please. All it does is take away from the video and make it inaccessible, and some people don't get sarcasm, so please don't do that. How can you caption a video of someone else if they don't have a link, and is there only a certain device you can caption videos on? You should be able to go in the headgear, click on that, uh, go to the language of captions. Normally it'll say English if you're watching an English video and then it'll say add subtitles. Is there only a certain device you can caption videos on? No, I think you can caption it on your iPads, your computers, and maybe even your phone, but I imagine that the phone is going to be the most tedious way of doing it. But I could have sworn that my friend Paul used to caption videos on his phone. If there's a song in the background of a video, should you caption the lyrics or just write the song name and artist? Write the lyrics to the song. I know I could put captions on when I am speaking, but how do I put captions on while I am signing? It's actually the same exact process as if you're doing a speaking video. For me, I go into the create new subtitles and add them in one by one. What feature would you like to see YouTube add or change to help support captioning? It would be really nice if they would stop messing with the, um, the churn on community contributions for all videos. Thing. I noticed that it's been broken for months and so I have to turn it back on literally like three times a day in order to not only make sure it's still on but also to check to see if I have any files that have been submitted and are waiting to be reviewed. And for some reason the translations section of the Creator Studio is the absolute slowest thing. My analytics, my video manager, everything else loads really really fast but the translations and community contribution are also slow and I don't understand why. It's something that I brought up with YouTube so many times but they never really reply. But that would be amazing because it's just been so tedious having to deal with it being broken for so long. If there's an extended period of a certain sound or silence, do you leave the caption there for the duration? or just at the beginning and end. For me, I think I leave it on for as long as that sound is or isn't on if it's silent. I do know that at the end of my videos, when I have the end card and there's music playing, I think I only leave it for about a, a couple of seconds. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really hurt to leave it on the whole time because it's, it's still there's still audio playing, it's still information that we can know. So learn from my mistakes and just leave them on the whole time. Also, if when you're captioning and there's a bit that you can't understand clearly, how do you handle that? Just make your best guess or say it's not clear. I just put indistinct. You know, sometimes when I'm looking over my own captions, I've noticed that some words aren't exactly what I say, but I can't really figure out what it is. I just put indistinct and then I may leave a comment in the comments uh, asking people if they know what I'm saying, please let me know and I'll change it. If you can't understand yourself, it is what it is, you know. Indistinct is fine, or incomprehensible, you know, anything like that. And here is the last question, this is a good one. So I commented on one guy's video and he replied that if he can't get profit from it, aka doubling his followers, he won't do anything about it. What could be a next step or would you just leave him alone? Well, I would tell him that if he actually gives it a shot and, you know, waits it out, he's gonna get a little bit of profit from it. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. You're not gonna get one video caption and be like, here's my viral video now and I am just rolling in the ad money and the followers and the views. But the stats have shown that if you keep on going with it, it helps out with SEO and everything else. The thing that that people sometimes tend to not get is that when you leave out an audience they're left out you're not gonna get them but when you finally include them we're gonna notice it and we're gonna come over and at least give you a shot at the end of the day your content may not be what we're looking for but I always give someone a shot I am much more likely to go to a video that has captions than to a video that is not yeah it's not gonna be some overnight success but in the end, it's going to be worth it because you know what happens? If I find out that somebody captions, I have a whole Twitter thread of YouTubers that caption and I need to update that. 
but now because of that other people are going to know about these youtubers they're going to get curious and then they're going to go over to them and probably watch some videos because nothing else is accessible to them this is so i hope that helped you out a little bit if you have any more questions again make sure to check out the playlist down below because i might have your question there so i hope that was helpful i hope you will consider captioning your videos if you haven't already and again i do have an affiliate code down below for Rev if you want to use that. And that is $10 off your very first order. Not sponsored, just an affiliate link. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you feel so inclined to do so, if you want to, I will have a translation link down below. So if you're bilingual, trilingual, and you want to translate this video to help out because it is, it is a very important video, I'll have that down for you. As always, I very much appreciate you watching and I will see you later. Bye.